Hello everyone. It is Friday, April 1st, 2022. I'm Matthew, and we're the Scoops. So I just finished pulling the broccoli, spinach, and most of the beets. There was actually a couple of them that were still way too small. I think most of them were on the smaller side, but they were also uh, sewed pretty close together. So we'll see what happens with those. I left the Brussels sprouts in for the time being. It, it got warm today. Um, I think the official temperature here was like 87, 88. Uh, it sure as heck felt like it was closer to 90. Uh, so most of them aren't looking too hot. The re everything else is looking pretty good though. Um, I did go ahead and mulch the beans and peas. Uh, I use straw for my mulching. Um, one, it's cheap. The blend I have, uh, it was just called a Sudan, basically a, a straw blend. And um, it was like seven, eight bucks a bale for a three string bale of hay and uh, it goes quite a ways as far as what i've read online um using hay for mulch is considered to be one of the best mulches out there uh, it has to deal with the way that it uh, helps retain the moisture which is obviously one of its uh, primary uh, uses as well as of course helping kind of regulate soil temperature and of course it breaks down into well, future soil. So because it's cheap, it does really well with what it's supposed to do. I like it, it works for me. So right now I'm gonna be going through and watering this stuff. So one thing to keep in mind, especially if you live down here in uh, Arizona, is historically, April, May, and June are the driest months of the year. So here in Arizona, uh, specifically Maricopa County, um, freezing is not necessarily something we generally worry too much about. Uh, not that it doesn't get below freezing here, uh, it just doesn't happen often. Uh, what does happen is it gets really hot, really dry. Uh, I think our record temperature is 122 degrees. Um, and we don't have like a lot of humidity and we sure as heck don't have a lot of precipitation. Uh, we've been for the most part in a drought for several years now and even prior to that, the state, I think as a whole, averaged somewhere around like nine inches a year, which is, compared to some areas, not a lot. So mulching, of course, becomes uh, even more important uh, as far as you know moisture retention goes. And obviously I will, as the temperatures continue to rise, uh, water more and more often as needed. Um, eventually, I may put in some sort of a system to help kind of speed this up a little bit, uh, but we'll see what happens. 
So, uh, as you go into this weekend, I hope everybody has a great weekend. Uh, one thing that uh, kind of came up, and I just want to tell everybody, no matter what it is that you're doing, whether you're actually full bore, heading into homesteading, building your farm, you've got property, whether you're just starting your first uh, uh, cooking experience, trying to do it from scratch, uh, whether you're trying to just do some canning for some preservation, whatever it is, don't let any of the skeptics get to you. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do this, or anything for that matter. If it's something that you feel that you must do, if it's something that you feel is your passion, if it's something that just brings you joy in general, maybe it's something that you know, brings you a sense of security, whatever the case may be, uh, if somebody says you can't do it, you shouldn't do it, don't listen. Just go on with it. All right. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do this. That being said, that's going to do it for me today. I'm going to go ahead and get started on dinner. I'm going to make some uh, stew for this evening. In the meantime, hit the like and subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one.